And then here we have it. Look how big it is. Good morning all. I am looking rough and rowdy because Jose and I were sleeping on an air mattress last night. And it's not fun being the lighter weight partner on an air mattress because you get the firm side of it. Anyways, today is our last day in Miami. The movers came yesterday. They took all of our stuff. The echo is insane here. So for our last day in Miami, we are spending it doing some of our favorite things. Going to some of our favorite neighborhoods because we do not want to be in this empty, uncomfortable apartment. So starting off my morning with my very last solid core in the Midtown location. I love this solid core so much. I'm so sad. But it also is like H-E double hockey sticks at the same time. Um, I'm gonna get my last workout in and I haven't worked out in days because we've been packing and I have been living with the stressors of moving across the country. So let's go work out. Nothing is gonna be aesthetic about this video. But I have nothing. Nothing. I don't know if I'm like even excited for this class. Do I really want to work out right now? The mirror, five eight to six two middle setting. Workout's is done, it's playtime now. I'm waiting for Jose because it's cold today and he didn't bring a jacket, but it's like in the 60s. So he's running inside and grabbing a jacket really quickly. We are heading to one of our favorite neighborhoods today, Coral Gables. We just love it because it's so pretty. Oh, okay. We just love it because it's so pretty and we're biased because it is like themed around Spain and actual places in Spain and there's Spanish architecture you can tell the whole neighborhood is like Spain like what are some of the street names they have yeah the, the Madrid Spain cities Valencia Granada. Andalusia yeah so I think that's why we like it so much but it's so cute there's lots of restaurants so we're gonna grab some brunch there and just walk around and enjoy the day because it's sunny today it's been super rainy and just not nice careful and then we have the crazy Miami roads and a lot of traffic to get down here. Oh, I'm gonna miss the big buildings. Uh, I've been like crying all day, all week. Been crying all week, you guys. Every time I see something pretty, I'm like, what? Miami driving <laughs> Oh my gosh. A turning signal, how rare. We've made it alive and well. I'm so hungry. I don't have any control. Grabbing breakfast at Cortadito. Cortadito. Let me correct myself. We love this place. What are you gonna get? Avocado toast. That looks good. We got a Cuban sandwich with croquetas and eggs and cheese. We're gonna go to Books and Books. Here's the map. Look guys, a Spain book section. As I said, he's read this and everybody in Spain has. This is why we love it here. I think it's cuter than this. So they're building this place up so there's not really any retail filling it, but in the next year or two, it's going to be so nice when they fill it with all of the uh, restaurants. Jose and I have been coming here since they've been building it. It's so grand. I don't know if this fits the aesthetic. So we are heading home right now. We had the most wonderful morning. I've been trying to think like 
articulate how I feel about leaving Miami and I've been struggling to articulate it but I now know how to say how I feel about leaving I'm actually not sad really about leaving Miami but what I am more sad about is leaving behind the lifestyle like the city lifestyle so you know we're moving to suburbia and I think what I'm just sad about missing is city life I love it why are you laughing at me? Snack haul! We had to run to Trader Joe's to buy snacks for our trip tomorrow because we have a four hour drive tomorrow and then a 16 hour train ride. We didn't get anything of nutritional value. These, so delicious. These are lemon cookies and nine cookies are only 110 calories, so you can shove them in your mouth. We got mango slices now. Jose did get the healthier ones, the just mango slices. I was like, calories don't count on a road trip. I got these soft and juicy mangoes. These ones are like the sugar-coated ones. I love, love, love for something savory for me, the jalapeno chomps beef sticks. Super yummy. Okay, I've never tried this before. A Brookie Caramel Candy Cluster. It's supposed to be a brownie and a cookie. But they got some protein bars. Don't care about those. We also got some sunflower seeds. Jeez. And then I wanted like a salty chip. So I got these rolled corn tortilla chips. So I, I think I've had these in the past. But the only bags they had were giant. So I tried to get the non-giant one. Mm -hmm. Anyways, that's what we're going to be munching on on our long journey in 24 hours. Let's do a taste test of the Brookie Caramel. I don't think I've seen these before. I said my Get Ready With Me video where I like told you guys I was moving. I'm so upset because we live walking distance from Trader Joe's. It's literally outside of our doorstep. <sighs> I'm going to miss Trader Joe's. But this is what it looks like. But Trader Joe's is actually a money sucker for us because we go all the time and spend minimum $40 and we go like three times a week. So my credit card statements, they really add up with the Trader Joe's. So maybe it's good we won't live across the street from them anymore. Mmm. There's some salt on there too. I need a cup of milk along with this. Mmm. Oh, these are good on the road again okay we're heading into downtown we're going to finish off today with my favorite sephora ever you guys so you have to go to the well if you're in miami and you want to go to the best sephora go to the one in downtown what is it what are they calling it world center yes mm -hmm. it's the best because they're currently building in that area a whole development and so the sephora is good to go but they don't have clientele and people walking through it yet because they haven't built up the whole center am i making sense no, that's quite true. so there's not a lot of people that go into it because there's just not a lot around yet since they're still building it up but you can tell they made it a nice big Sephora and they prepared it to be a hotspot location once everything's built around it. So if you're watching this a year from now, what I'm saying is probably not relevant. But right now in this last year, it's the biggest Sephora. They have all of the brands and nobody ever goes. So that's my little tip for you. So we're going to check it out because Patrick Ta just launched his new blush colors and I saw that they were at World Center. They're building a new bridge here and if you like look it up online it's gonna look so cool I can't wait to come back whenever they finish it which I don't know on Miami time will be five years from now but this is kind of I would say a newer part of Miami that they're building up it's gonna be so beautiful when it's done you know what I mean like everything around it isn't open yet <laughs> but we're almost at the motherland Sephora. There's also a Lululemon next to it. But how beautiful is this gonna be when it's all done? And then here we have it. Look how big it is. I'm not seeing the blushes. They said they had them. I'm too short to read the top. Can you see if they have just enough? She's too much. I don't think they have those. No. Right? Okay. 
almost had a crisis because I couldn't find it but they actually were hiding them behind the counter but the goods are secure still the best Sephora and since they don't have the foot traffic they're always stocked the final stop is our favorite poke ever you guys ever it's called sovereign it looks a little sketch but it's worth it don't be scared I mean look at this this is the name yeah hit it like that <laughs> Casual, casual walk. This right here is my favorite place to come. Jose and I sit here and walk through here and we just sit and talk in front of the water. There's yachts going by. It's beautiful. So this is in Brickle. Over there is Brickle Key. That's another great place to walk. And then the cruise port is over here. So, my Midtown. That's the neighborhood we lived in. We got the car all packed. I was gonna vlog this morning a little bit to show you, but it was just so crazy. <laughs> it was so crazy getting everything done at last second, but we just turned in our keys. We're leaving the neighborhood, and I wanted to take you guys along today because we are going to take an auto train. We're not, we're not driving the whole way. Oh gosh, no, we aren't doing that. But there is a train station near Orlando that you can put your car on the train and then there's like the coolest room at. We took it on the way to move here, but I couldn't vlog it even though I wanted to because I was crying so much. My eyes were so puffy and red. Complete different feelings this time around. So I'm gonna show you guys. So update, we are right by Orlando International Airport, about 30 minutes away. We're here, okay, so what you do, they're gonna start yelling at us, so I have to <laughs> talk fast, but we've just pulled up, we were told to go to lane two, and we're gonna take our bags out, and they're literally just gonna take our car. Leave the keys, grab your belongings, go inside, check in at the ticket counter. Yep. Okay, thank you. I think it's a cool building. Right? <laughs> okay, we're boarding. We're going up to our cabin. Here we are. We're home for 17 hours. <laughs> so we put our suitcase here. This bed will pull down tonight. And then this you can eat at yeah we're gonna be here for like 17 hours inventory of sleeping cars 5240 5241 is a dining car and lounge car for those who have accommodations okay room tour even though we've already made a mess of things so we're able to put our suitcase there jose faces me there is an outlet and then of course we get to see the country as we move north and you can fold this table back in but we're using it to watch our shows then on my side they give you a pillow and then we have lights and then all of our bags and snacks and you're able to make it a private room because there's a door and you can cover the windows i mean this is our little pod quite comfortable very cozy was a little claustrophobic at first though but tonight when they come by they're gonna make this seat a bed and then it's gonna be a bunk bed situation and we're currently in talks of who has to be on top because i swear when we came here jose was on top this sounds dirty <laughs> but I just don't know if I'm agile enough to hop on the top bed. Why does this look like Africa right now? I'm ready for a cheetah to come out and get me. <laughs> I'm watching Love is Blind. I downloaded all of the current episodes that are out. So I've been seeing the stuff on TikTok, so I've got to know what happens. 
Anyways, dinner's coming at 7.30, so I'll catch up with you then. Dinner, bon appetit. We have steak, green beans, a baked potato, and then a roll, I guess. And then there's some blueberry cheesecake also. Shower ready. <laughs> Comfortable. I ended Stay. up on the top. Yeah, that's my spot. Good morning. We woke up in Virginia. I... <laughs> I feel disgusting. I cannot wait to get home and shower, but we have a like a short drive after we get our car, but we are like 15 minutes away from getting off this train. I slept horribly last night. I did sleep though, but you know, it, I was just telling Jose, it, it was one of those sleeps where you really don't feel like you slept, but you know you did because time passed, but I don't recall falling asleep really. And that bunk bed was so hard and the train was really rocking last night. And we have arrived in Virginia. If you're ever moving from Florida or down south that way, up to Virginia and the surrounding areas. Definitely recommend this to pack your car. So easy. We picked up the car, threw our stuff in, and we are off home. Thank you guys for joining in on the vlog. I just wanted to do it for my own memories, really, but I wanted to take a moment to thank you all who have congratulated Jose and I. We are so excited for this new chapter, and I will keep you updated. Hopefully, the quality of the videos are going to increase now with my new studio. Sorry, I know the camera is shaking, and I can't wait to show you guys my new beauty room. So, we are off. Our stuff doesn't come here until another, like, four days is much better than we thought so we're happy about that thank you guys for hanging out with me i hope you guys enjoyed the vlog if you have any questions let me know in the comments down below and i'll see you in the next one bye